I want to talk to you about um, the giants again. This is in the Bible. Jesus told the disciples it will be like the day of Noah and those Nephilim will return. What's a Nephilim? It's half man, half fallen angel. So I'm taken by Jesus to an area that is on this earth that we don't know about in this area. And in another video I'm going to bring to you, I want you to keep an open mind because what I will show you it will blow your mind. Okay, but I'm going to just get into this subject. So I'm taken to this area. It's all snow and I'm lowered into this ice cold blue water by Jesus and he's standing on a shore and I'm being lowered as I'm being lowered down I see this huge man and I mean it's not tiny and I go from its head all the way down to its feet so I could even see the clothes in its body and this thing Nephilim has a body that you wouldn't believe the muscles in the body um, and its clothes I mean you're in shock so from the feet back up I'm looking at this man and I know it's a man it's got a beard and everything black hair I get to the eyes and its eyes were like closed like this and then I was thinking to myself I wonder if this thing can think into my mind because that's what demons do I was wondering can it does it know that I'm there thinking about it and as I thought that and its eyes are closed like this its eyes open like this I was like oh my god did I wake that thing up so Jesus pulls me out and I'm on the shore and I'm like did I wake that thing up he's like no it was just sleeping it's always been there and it's being released and I was like oh as I said that that thing came out of the water it broke out of this ice and was coming after me at this point Jesus wasn't there I mean I'm just there with that thing and it was huge I'm gonna show you what it looked like it had a beard and hair like that okay and then I'm gonna show you how tall it was just so you can get it's that tall see the little person in its hand that's how big it was and I'm vulnerable by myself I just screamed out Jesus help me that thing took off running in the opposite direction so Jesus was there I was flipping out I'm on the ground crying why is it released oh my god it's gonna hurt all of us because you learn the lesson my name will get rid of them so I'm to tell you this stuff is going down the majority of us will see this stuff even in our, our spiritual warfare just the name Jesus they have on YouTube if you have any TVs in your house that aren't being used you should have always in the background on a YouTube channel playing Jesus's name um, something to affect to his name or his prayer going on but mainly anything with his name or like in that one um, video I've shown you where the, an archangel gave a spiritual song to this man and that's what that it do, they do sing that or uh, something to the divine mercy any praise to God they flee but especially Jesus's name and I'm tired of people saying and arguing over his name I've had 26 Bibles and every Bible has said Jesus I've died and went to heaven his name is Jesus I've went to hell and a demon was trying to attack me if you guys remember my experience in hell I just said Jesus's name they all flew it was like I had like this huge boundary around me where th it didn't affect me so if you say Jesus's name you scream it out loud when you see those things they take 
off. I don't care how many there are. Just say his name over and over till you don't see anymore. It's, it's going to be to that level one day. And you're like, no, that's madness. That's madness. And these fools, and they're fools, and they anger me, and they anger God, that say, Jesus is Lucifer, or Jesus was Enoch. Those people, they follow people like me, because really what they are is they're satanic worshipers. They're trying to pull Christians um, out to do an argument with them, to look up your profile, and there's a Christian hit list going around. Whatever. I don't really care. I have the brown guy after me now that wants to off me. Who cares? He's blotted out now. Doesn't exist as a person. And by the way, I can release who that other person is now. The, um, rub out. Um, Trump. Who did that? Father, right in front of me. The Holy Father, Jesus' Father, took his thumb with his right thumb and went right on his face, twisted it, and then smeared it off to the side. And that's what he'll look like forever. And it's quite painful. That's a smite and a blot out all at once. What is a smite, Christine? A smite is an up and personal combat move. Like, Jesus is like so where you go up and you can just pop someone in the face and shatter all their teeth. It is an up, personal, fast wipeout. These people, there's a lot. Like when I told you about the brown man, the two people to his left and to his right, they're a rub out too. A blot out. So, I'm done praying for these people because they're no longer of God. So if I'm showing that, you don't know. That's a waste of my time already. Okay? So, all you Luciferians coming on here saying that Jesus' name is Lucifer, I'm going to tell you this. The Lord rebuke you and your demon be gone. In Jesus Christ's name. Period. And Christians who want to still argue about his name, you are at a level of a two-year-old that is retarded. And that's no disrespect to retardation. And they do it with perfect knowledge in their head as a grown adult. You don't deserve my attention. I'll just hand you off to God. When I see people like that in the comments, I put you literally in God's hand. You better be careful. You'll end up like that uh, smite and smudge out. And you, that's very painful. So, you don't take heed. That's your problem. But to all of us Christians who love God and are trying to get people back to God, all these witches and even some satanic worshipers will turn back to God. I will say to you, play in your house loud as you can everything Jesus. I don't care if you're watching a football game. Just go ahead in the back room. All the rooms in your house, play Jesus 24 hours or they have 8 hour Jesus stuff, play that because you don't know what's going on with your next door neighbor anymore I've seen people walking around I never even knew existed these type of pants you could buy with pentacles all over it, they have pentacle purses I mean you just go to a gas station and people are wearing um, all the satanic pentacles and I, I've even seen people that I thought were Christian, they turn around and they have a pentacle on. I'm just like, and the mother's there wearing a cross. And I'm like, if that was my daughter, and this daughter was about 17 years old, you will not eat in my house. I would rip that off your neck and uh, tell you, get a job and get out. That is not coming in my house. If someone put Jesus Christ, meaning Satan, on a pentacle and put him on that, that is an insult, and that you're wearing, and you celebrate even his holiday of his birth, 
and people will say, well, you're, well, that's a pagan holiday. No, it's not pagan when I know and he knows who I am appreciating and celebrating the birthday of. So, you are to, when you see these giants appear, and they're going to, and you're going to, some people will die of shock of what they look like because I was scared to death. But then I just started screaming, Jesus. And that thing took off just with his name. So you people want to argue with Jesus' name? You're truly evil. If a demon runs and fears God's name and you're a human being, that makes you more eviler than a demon. Is that possible to be eviler? Yes. That's why that brown man got blotted out and smited. That's why that other man, by the father, was literally smudged out. Oh, that's very biblical. You should fear God. And um, if you want your neighbors to move out, don't argue with them. Just start playing Jesus over and over, like I said, on you with those YouTubes. Play it loud. It will drive the demons out of them and out of your territory. And if they're that truly evil, they won't be no more. They won't be influenced by a demon, but there are some people, and I'm going to say like this, that they truly are from government experiments that were released here in the United States. They, they, this has been going on for like 70 years. So there's some that are even 20 years old. And people, they're not people. That's why the evil is so unhinged. What you are looking at and thinking the appearance is a person, it isn't. So keep playing Jesus over and over and over. The majority of these people that you cannot penetrate their mind these people are not like part of God's flesh. They're created by our government or governments. My next video, we're going to get into what the earth really looks like and how they lied and how they lied about an asteroid belt. And what I'm going to show you is going to blow your mind. This next video just have an open mind, and I just got to think of a way how to show you uh, properly and get this message for you. But Jesus' name is powerful. There's just some people that are not people, but they look like it. So I'm, I'm just letting you know that one has been released.